Hey, without getting too specific, I want to talk about relationships um, because I found that talking about my friends specifically as people is kind of like throwing them under the bus to make an example of them. And I've also found that they don't like it. People don't like being called out by name and uh, made an example of. So I'm not going to do that uh, anymore right now. Um, obviously, if someone deserves it, I will throw them under the bus, just so you know. Um, but I want to put people at ease. And I've noticed that you can try to put someone at ease, but it doesn't work. You can't, like, calm someone down. I mean, you, you can calm yourself down in their presence, basically, and they'll calm down, but, like, that's what I'm talking about. You can't calm someone down. Not that I know of. So, if you're trying to put someone else at ease, you got to put yourself at ease. And here's where I'm at. Getting abused. I don't know if you've ever been abused by someone from whoever. I used to get abused as a kid emotionally, like pushed around. I, I got physically kicked around a little bit, pushed around by people like peers and things. Fortunately, my parents didn't kick me around too much, if at all. You know, the occasional smack, this and that, but like they were pretty, pretty down to earth about not hitting me. You know, I get grounded a lot, thrown in my room. Uh, we're not allowed to leave the house, but it wasn't really abusive. It was punishment for, you know, getting a C on my report card or my interim, uh, which was like a, a notice they would send out between report cards halfway through. And they'd be like, if he's getting a C or less, they'll send out an interim. And then if I got an interim, I was grounded until report cards came out. Could not sleep out on the weekends. It was horrifying because I love to sleep out on the weekends, go to my friends' places and sleep. Hang out until five in the morning, four, all night sometimes. Uh, it was the best, you know, free freedom. I would get my freedom taken away as punishment, but I wouldn't get hit. So that was kind of nice. Um, but now, you know, and still, I've noticed if you don't say anything, if you go through life not responding to being attacked, it keeps happening. Um, if you respond in the wrong way or favorably to being attacked, it keeps happening. So there's a real tactful way to deal with that behavior that will make it stop. And that's important because if someone's fucking with you, it needs to stop. What do you do? Do you make an example of them? I don't think so. You know, the demon in me says yes. The demon in me also wants to go get some meat right now and eat it. I'm just not full of hate. I never was, really. I can pretend it. I can, like, generate it if I need to or, or want to for a character or for, for whatever. I can get super angry and loud. You can, too. I've, in the past, you know, been... been abused or hassled by my friends or people that you know I thought were my friends and sat by silently and just let it happen and then cry and, and then it, it got to a point where I would get nasty and they would stop like but you can't be a little nasty it's like an antibiotic if you just take a little bit of an antibiotic the bacteria it kills the weak bacteria and the rest of them become resistant to the antibiotic you've got to do you've got to go full force if you're going to do it and that'll get people to shut up and leave you alone and want to be your friend. It's pretty empowering. But it's mean. So I don't know. And someone's, you know, abusing me mentally. Someone's like poking at me or stabbing at me psychologically. Uh, I don't quite know how to react. Sometimes I think not reacting is the best thing. But I remember in the past, if I did not react, it would just keep happening. I didn't like that. Um, playing into them in their own game doesn't really work either. Like you got to hit them with something they don't expect. Hit them in a place that hurts. And I don't mean punch. I mean outsmart them, basically. I have a lot of love. I care a lot about people. And I want the best for people. 
everyone individually, like the individuals, the people that I hate, I love. I don't hate, really, but, you know, these words, love and hate, it's like, yeah, I feel up, I feel down at the same time. The energy is going up and it's going down. The coil is a binary. It's a fucking coil and it's going up and down at the same time and that's life. You feel love, you feel hate. It's okay. They're not going to screw you for fucking expressing yourself. So get angry if you want, but don't take that all the way. I mean, oh boy. What do you do? You clear your mind, right? You just clear your mind. Okay. Peace be with you, my friend. You'll be okay.